Hi, I'm Minister Ralph Friedrichs. Making a difference is my belief. Here is my challenge to everyone. I just want to challenge everyone, a challenge I'm also trying to live out. No matter how busy you are, there is always something you can do to brighten someone's day. Give someone a hug. Send a text with an inspiring quote. Friends, mail a heartfelt card. Tell someone how much you appreciate him or her. If we look each day presents us with opportunities to share kindness throughout the world, my core belief that we are called to not only love God and love people, but to carry out the Great Commission and share the eternal message of Jesus Christ. My goal is to help you reimagine your life and let go of the thoughts and behaviors that undermine you so that a renewed and fulfilled you can emerge starting today. We must love one another as God loves each and every one of us. To be able to love, we, my friends, need a clean heart. Prayer is what gives us a clean heart. The fruit of prayer is deepening of faith, and the fruit of faith is love. I hope each and every one of you remember to show compassion and have a, a great life ahead of you with Jesus Christ. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author and addiction recovery coach and life coaching minister and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. So that's on iHeartRadio, iTunes, and Google Music as well. Have you ever had your back against the wall? Think about that. Where you thought you'd never get out of a horrible situation you were in. Emotionally, you were a mess. Maybe that is where you find yourself at this moment, if you're listening to me or watching me. Then you should uh, pray and never give up. Luke 18, 1. Maybe you are praying and waiting, and you're crying, then pray again. Where you continue to pray and fight the feeling to give up over and over and over again. Remember what Jesus said to to do. Knock and keep knocking. Ask and keep asking and keep seeking. Jesus is teaching us that there will be many times when we will get tested and tried. There will be times that we need to preserve. But he reminds us that we don't preserve anything. Uh, We don't persevere alone, I should say. He said that we are to always pray and never give up. Paul writes it this way, rejoice always, pray without season, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Right now, today, what you have, uh, what have you been persevering about? What is heavy in your heart? Bring it to the Lord, for he said to pray and to never, ever, ever give up, to keep praying and pray hard. Call me at 844-405. Help together, you and I. We can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Always be good to each other. Remember, send a smile to anyone. Change their day and change their life. Make a difference in your life. Whatever you're per- persevering today, pray hard and pray to the Almighty God to guide and direct you daily. And remember that God truly loves you and have a great life with Jesus Christ. And we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.